Welcome to Rank Rhino, where you can learn it all. Today, we'll be going through the 10 biggest football controversies that change the sport forever. In light of the recent scandals surrounding Juventus and Manchester City's finances, we were inspired to make a video about the scandals that affected the sport, forever changing people's perceptions. As beloved as football is, or as soccer for our American viewers, the sport had plenty of gruesome controversies that have stained its image forever. Number 10. Rivaldo's dive in the 2002 World Cup. Minutes later, Brazil's hero turned villain. Rivaldo was one of the best players in the world in 2002, and Brazil was the favorite for the 2002 Korea and Japan World Cup. With this in mind, you'd think Brazil would be able to beat Turkey without resorting to any tricks, but no. In a moment of infuriating play acting, Rivaldo faked getting hit in the face and got a player sent off. I'm not somebody who appears in the press that much. Brazil were leading 2-1 against the 10-man Turkey, and as such, Rivaldo was in no rush to get the ball so he could take a corner. As he was wasting time, Hakan Unsao got annoyed and kicked the ball at Rivaldo, hitting him in the knee in the process. What followed was the Brazilian stock clutching his face as if he had just gotten knocked out by Muhammad Ali, when his knee had just gotten lightly hit. The ref believed Rivaldo and sent off Unsao. Rivaldo was fined $7,300 for the dive, but his reputation was what really took the brunt of the punishment. Number 9. Diego Maradona's 1994 drug scandal. I swear that I didn't take any substance that FIFA could ban me for. We've already mentioned the hand of God in our video about the top 10 sports controversies, so we've included one of Maradona's other controversial moments. Argentina's hopes for winning the 1994 World Cup were hinged on El Pelusa carrying the team. As such, the nation was devastated when he was sent home after testing positive for up to five variants of the drug ephedrine. Have proved to be positive. The player Diego Maradona. Maradona had previously been suspended for 15 months after failing a cocaine test in 1991. Still, his return for the 1994 World Cup was a moment of pure inspiration for Argentinians, that is, until he was again suspended due to testing positive for ephedrine. He defended himself by claiming he had used the medicine to treat minor allergy symptoms. The governing body wasn't having it though, claiming the five variants found in his body could not be from a single medicine. Number 8. The Whistle Mafia. Anulando as 11 partidas arbitradas pelo senhor Edilson Pereira de Carvalho. The 2005 Whistle Mafia scandal involved two Brazilian referees who took bribes from investors in order to fix the results of matches so that the investors could make large winnings off of bets. Referees Edilson Pereira de Carvalho and Paulo José Danelon were paid to influence the results of 11 matches in the Brazilian top flight, with de Carvalho admitting to receiving the equivalent of $4,400 to fix the result of the game between Juventude and Figueirense. After the scandal was uncovered, the Supreme Court of Sporting Justice in Brazil ordered all the fixed matches to be replayed, even though the involved clubs weren't happy with doing so. All of this led to a confusing mess that included multiple lawsuits that were filed with the goal of preventing the games from being replayed. Of course, both referees were banned for life from football. Number 7. Benzema and Ribéry's 2010 escort scandal. La France is as far as I'm concerned, I will do everything possible so that France and the leading... Around the time of France 2010 World Cup meltdown, French stalls Karim Benzema, Frank Ribéry and Sidney Gouvou were accused of a shameful crime that still haunts them to this day. The three men had apparently used the services of an underage escort, the 16-year-old Zahia Deter. The three men didn't deny using the services of the escort, but they did deny knowing that she was underage, with all three of them claiming that she was over 18 and even saying that she showed them an ID proving her age. While Gouvou wasn't formally charged, Ribéry and Benzema were. Zahia claimed that all three men were respectful of her and the prosecutors couldn't get any definitive proof that they had sexual contact with the girl, so the case was eventually dropped. Number 6. Brazil's 2014 spending scandal. We have to alert everyone that the level of public safety in the country is very bad, with or without.
Whenever a country hosts the World Cup, it's commonplace for money to be invested into improving sporting infrastructure. Brazil spent for exactly this reason relating to them hosting a 2014 World Cup. There was no outrage around them improving the infrastructure. The outrage was around them spending billions of dollars to do so. It's wrong for them to spend billions while people are dying in the streets and we're assaulted at night. Apparently, a few Brazilian politicians were among the people who heavily invested in the expensive building project. This caused massive controversies as many people believed that the politicians personally investing could influence the potential outcomes of future elections and people were also unhappy that they might have been taking government funds away from the masses and using them for this project. Considering football isn't supposed to mesh with politics in Brazil, this was quite the mess. Number 5. Andres Escobar's fateful own goal. Bill Shankly once said, Some people think football is a matter of life and death. I assure you, it's much more serious than that. Sadly, this quote was taken too far during the 1994 World Cup when Colombian defender Andres Escobar was shot to death in a parking lot 10 days after he scored an own goal, which led to Colombia getting eliminated from the tournament. It was an unfortunate own goal as Escobar stretched to try and clear a cross into his team's area and accidentally scored in his own net. Now, Colombian fans didn't see it like that and thought he did it on purpose for one reason or another. He was shot 10 days later. His murder was initially blamed on the civil struggles in Colombia at the time, but later, drug cartel bodyguard Humberto Castro Munoz confessed he shot Andres Escobar due to lost bets as a result of his mistake. Number 4. Marseille's 1992-93 bribery scandal Marseille was one of the best teams in the world in the 92-93 season, with President Bernard Tapia assembling a team of Galacticos at the time. So, why would they bribe players in their opponent's team, Valenciennes, in the last game of the season when they're clear favorites? Well, so they can keep their players fresh for the upcoming Champions League final, of course. Deschamps, il a besoin de personne en fait. Bon, Deschamps, c'est un manager, c'est plus qu'un entraîneur. Bernard Tapier and general manager Jean-Pierre Bernay bribed multiple players with the understanding that they would underperform on purpose. Now, Marseille winning this game meant they managed to clinch the title on the last match day, while their opponents got relegated to the French second tier. Multiple Valenciennes players accepted this deal, except Jacques Glassman, who rejected it and alerted authorities. This resulted in Tapier, Bernay, and the bribe players getting convicted of corruption and Marseille getting stripped of the title. Number 3. The 2022 World Cup Controversies Today, I feel uh, a migrant worker. The 2022 World Cup will be remembered for two things. Messi finally getting the trophy and cementing his legacy as the GOAT, and many controversies. The 2022 Qatar World Cup was the first to be held during the winter, which is mid-season for most major European leagues. This caused a huge mess in the schedules of the top leagues, but that's not what caused the most outrage. But it's clear that the years of criticism, particularly on the issue of migrant workers, won't simply... For starters, the way Qatar won the rights to host the World Cup was very shady, especially as emails leaked, which revealed that Qatari figures had paid millions to FIFA officials to ensure that they voted for the Arab nation. There were also scandals surrounding the migrant workers who were working in inhumane conditions and many of them dying. Qatar banning alcohol at the last minute, FIFA president Infantino holding questionable press conferences, and banning players from wearing LGBTQ armbands also added fuel to the fire. Number 2. The 2005 Heuser match fixing scandal. 2 zu 4 in Paderborn. Das Aus im Pokal. Ein gewisser Herr. The Bundesliga is no stranger to controversy, with there being a fair few bribery scandals during the 20th century. Still, the one that drew the most attention was also the most recent one. In 2005, it was found out that referee Robert Heuser, several other officials, and even some players and managers were taking part in match fixing in the lower echelons of German football. To the time when I had no mistake, I had a bad feeling. The breaking moment for Heuser was a cup game between Bundesliga team Hamburg and regional Liga team Paderborn. After Hamburg took a 2-0 lead, he sent off their star striker and gave a few soft penalties to the underdog, with the match ending 2-4 for Paderborn. 
After this situation, it was found out that the referee had received thousands of euros from bar owner Ante Sapina, who had put together a betting scandal worth over 2 million euros. As a result of these findings, Hoiser received a jail term of 2 years and 5 months. All of this just as the country was preparing to host the 2006 World Cup. Number 1. Coachopoli. La Corte Federale, composta the Calciopoli scandal changed the way everyone sees Italian football. It was nothing like any of us had ever seen before. The scandal implicated some of the biggest teams in the world. Juventus, Milan, Lazio, Fiorentina, Regina, and proved them taking part in match fixing. One of the major figures in this scandal was Juventus general manager Luciano Mogo, who had manipulated games by specifically choosing referees that were more favorable towards Juve. Tu praticamente hai una società, la Juventus, che deve rispondere solo alla console, no? When calls between Mogo and several key Italian officials were released, it was revealed that cheating teams had engineered a match-fixing network in both Serie A and Serie B. As a result, Juventus were relegated to Serie B, stripped of two of their titles and banned from Europe for the following season. Fiorentina was also banned from Europe and AC Milan was deducted 30 points. Many of the figures involved also received jail terms. While the teams have recovered, Italian football hasn't been the same. Thank you for watching guys, is there a football scandal that changed the way you look at the sport? What was it? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more factoids and lists related to films, music, sports and more pop culture related topics. Thank you again and see you next time.